Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we will fix following Windows wireless display errors. The device doesn't support Miracast, so you cannot project to it wirelessly. We are still trying to determine the feature capabilities. This device doesn't support receiving Miracast. The Connect app keeps showing, your device name, is about to project, forever. With no further delay let's go ahead and fix them. Solution 1, turn off airplane mode and turn on Wi-Fi. Go to your notification area. Turn off airplane mode. Select network. Turn on Wi-Fi. I no more have that error. You may probably ignore this warning. Your Connect app should still work with this message. Let's try to cast my Android phone to this computer. Go to Windows Search and open Projection Settings. The options that you see over here worked fine for me. Please modify your settings accordingly. Go to Windows Search and open Firewall and Network Protection. Please turn off these firewalls temporarily. We are all set, let's try to cast. Wow, it's working perfect. Solution 2 Uninstall and reinstall graphics and Wi-Fi drivers. Please remember, there are two main components in your computer, which determines the Miracast support. One is your graphics driver, and another is your Wi-Fi driver. So let's try uninstalling and reinstalling of these drivers one by one. Right-click on Start and select Device Manager. Your graphics device is generally shown under Display Adapters. Right-click on the driver and choose Uninstall. Now click on Scan for hardware changes. It may take a while and your display may go off and come back shortly. I got my graphics driver back. Let's go ahead and do the same for my Wi-Fi adapter. Go to Network Adapters. There could be many things, but you should look for the one that says Wireless. Right-click and choose Uninstall. Click on Scan for hardware changes. Wi-Fi adapter has been reinstalled. Solution 3. Update graphics and Wi-Fi drivers. Well, you can update these drivers in many ways. First option is from Original Equipment Manufacturer website or disk. For example, my Wi-Fi adapter is from TP-Link, so I search with my make and model to get the driver. Please download and install the drivers. Second option is from Motherboard Manufacturer website. Motherboard manufacturers usually provide utilities to update drivers. Mine is Intel, let me show you how I do it. Search for Intel Driver Update. Download and install Driver and Support Assistant. Click on Launch, or you can visit the same website again. 
This will automatically scans and lists the latest drivers available for your PC. Now tap on Install All. Please follow your on-screen instructions and complete the installation. Third choice is just use default Windows Update option. Right-click on the driver. Select Update Driver. Choose Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. Windows may search online for availability of latest drivers, and if it is available, this will help you install the same. Please do the same for Wi-Fi driver as well. The last option is to use third-party free driver update utilities, such as Driver Easy. Download and install Driver Easy free utility, I have provided the link in the description. Open the application and select Scan Now. For time being, our focus is only display and Wi-Fi drivers, so please verify if any updates are available for these two. Remember, update all or automatic installation is not available on free version. Therefore, you have to manually download and manually install, one by one. Select update beside wireless driver. Select manually create, and continue. Select manually install, and continue. Now you would get a pop-up window, please copy this path, we need it later. Go to Device Manager, right-click on Wi-Fi Driver, and select Update. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Copy that folder path, and paste over here. Please ensure there is a checkmark on Include Subfolders. Click Next and wait for some time. You will see a screen that says Windows has successfully updated your drivers. I do not have updates for my graphics card. But if updates are available for your graphics card in Driver Easy, please repeat the same steps. I hope one of these methods helps you fix your issue. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.